Alright guys, so uh, just wanted to do a little review, show you guys my brand new uh, Motocentric Mototrek 14 liter tag bag that I bought and uh, just showing you a couple little things about the bag and uh, what it brings, how much space it's got, things like that. So uh, let's go ahead and begin here. I only have one hand so just bear with me. As you can see here it already says that it brings uh, backpack straps, mounting straps and a rain cover and I'll show you that stuff later as the video goes on. So let's go ahead and begin here. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, this strap right here. Uh, this will strap onto the back of the backpack. Well, like I said, I only have one hand, so bear with me. Alright, so uh, this part right here, I'll just connect down here. And I'll wrap it around. I'll wrap it around just like so. Uh, as you can see, I uh, ran this loop right here through the clip, ran the actual strap through it, and I can just lift it up like that. Bomb is hooked on there, and then I'll show you the other side. So it'll go on here, go around the back, and it'll clip onto that clip there. See the clip? Bam. So that's how it'll clip on to the back side. And you'll be able to wear it around your shoulder and your head as a strap so now that I showed you that let me go ahead and show you this now uh, these are the book bag straps if you wanted to wear it as a book bag it's got these nice little uh, straps here to say motocentric on them so it's nice design right here it's got the clip clip clips onto right there to that clip on the book on the actual bag so you can see how that goes it's got this clip that will clip there and it has that clip that will clip there and you can uh, pretty much put it on as a book bag now let's actually get to the bag and show you what the bag has now when uh, showing you the bag I guess we'll start off here which is uh, pretty much the most the biggest part which is what I was most excited about is the fact that this bag is a magnetic tank bag uh, yes that means it's got magnets got a magnet there got a big magnet right here as you can tell it's got a big magnet right there, big magnet right there, big magnet there, small magnet here, and big magnet there. This magnet and these two by themselves hold the bag just as well as if these were actually holding it by the sides of the tank. But, of course, yes, they do hold on to the side of the tank just as well. And uh, you'll see a shot of that at the end of the video of how it holds the bag, the, uh, the tank. So now that you see the magnets, like I said, one here, one there, one there, one there, one there, there, and there. And they just clip like that. So when you put the straps on and wear it as a book bag, it doesn't really bother you. These stick out, but they're not in your way whatsoever. Either way, I'm really carrying a bag like this. So uh, I don't plan on using the straps. I tried it on. I didn't like the way it felt with the straps. So I'll probably just carry it like that, carry the, the straps inside the bag. And uh, if I ever feel like using with the straps, then I can pull them out and strap them on. So let's continue here. All right, so for all you moto vloggers out there, I know you guys like to uh, stay on topic when you're moto vlogging. And uh, this is a great way how right here. Uh, this right here is meant to hold your map. But uh, most of you moto vloggers will probably use it to keep your notes and what you want to keep on topic when you're talking. So that's a great way of doing that. Uh, you can actually put your cell phone in here. It is a small space but it will fit so just to show you an example of how everything goes in there I have uh, some paperwork I received when I got my license for my motorcycle 50% uh, off and things like that and I have uh, my motocentric uh, the stuff that came with my bag and it shows all the things that this bag brings so I don't know if you can focus too well but I'll read it for you dimensions 6 height 9 by 5 uh, width and uh, 13 inch long I have here a capacity 14 liters, uh, ballistic construction for durability, detailed organizer, reflect the light, Duraflex, buckles and added strength, removable strap, map pocket with zipper entry, customized carrying handle, auto ready, I'll show you that as well, uh, protective base, rain covered included, cell phone storage, backpack convertible, hydration ready which means that yes you can put you can put a hydration pack in there but it does not have it it's hydration ready 
not uh, already in there and a separate eyewear pocket as well now you can use these pockets however you like but that's what it brings so uh, let's go ahead and continue here I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this works this has a button clip has a button back here clip and a button back here clip and you can just pull it out it's got velcro there in the middle nice little motor centric design and you can carry the bag like that without having that clear thing on top of it okay on the back side of it is where the zipper is right here so once again I only have one hand guys so bear with me go ahead and open that zipper and turn it over and you'll see that my hand fits in there I can pull out all this stuff I can actually fit my hand in there so if I can fit my hand in there you can fit your cell phone in there too if you want to now most people will probably use this just for a map or something like that but you get the idea all right let's continue here all right I guess we'll start off with the stuff that's easier to explain so this right here is the reflective area that right there will reflect off of light from vehicles and it's on both sides so there you go you get the other side there there's the reflective area again and uh, so that's what they're speaking of when it says reflective and then it's also got this area right here for audio so you can put your phone in there can bring the cord out and connect to your earphones if you want or your audio there and connect to your whatever it is you need connections with you know as you can as you already know if you watch my videos you know I have speakers set up in my bike so I can connect from my phone uh, to my auxiliary port and I can listen to the music that I have on my phone on the speakers mounted in my bike so it's got a nice little uh, handy rubber it's not plastic it's rubber well plastic covered in rubber I guess you could say um, little handle here very sturdy easy to carry the bag it's got these zippers with these nice little black uh, rubber pieces here so easy to pull and grab the zippers even when you have your gloves on it's not a pain in the ass uh, let's see here this section here is uh, where you would put your glasses nice little section let me go ahead and unzip that for you and uh, I don't carry it for my glasses it's the back of the backpack usually you put your backpack down on the back side so I thought it wouldn't be a good idea so what I carry here is my rain cover and I'll show you about that later on the video and I have my cell phone clip and uh, some shoestring that uh, always tends to come in handy whenever you uh, are out doing things so uh, let's go ahead and continue here and like I mentioned guys I only have one hand so uh, please excuse all the stopping and starting again alright so here we go I unzip this part already so you can see how it works we can uh, bring a cord through there and you can see how this sticks out and my finger you can see my finger slightly in there and the same for the back there you won't be able to see the finger but there you go oh yeah you can okay so uh, this got a section right here you can put things and I have my bags here bags always come in handy you got to keep things waterproof and it has plenty of space there too so now that, now that you've seen that let's get to the actual part of the bag that everybody wants to know about how much space we actually have in the luggage alright okay so here we go pull this strap I mean the zipper all the way back here and we'll put this zipper all the way back here and just move the bag a little bit so we have more sturdiness and just to show you guys more or less of how you can use the pockets and all the space inside I packed it up pretty good uh, not the normal always stuff that I will be carrying but you can get a point here with all the stuff that I did so in here is my license and yes I have it backwards so you can't stalk me and follow me and uh, this has a zipper you can use whatever you want in there I just stuck that in there so you can see how that works behind this velcro and you can shove a couple things in there as well it's got three little spots here for you to put three pens if you'd like to so I put one there so you can get the idea of how that works and this also has another velcro thing and another pocket it also brings that clip so I carry my bike keys there and I just uh, shove them in there whenever I don't want to use them put the velcro back in and bam you're ready to go after you zip it up so let's see how much storage space we got now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys I have a towel here big old towel so I'm gonna pull that out first and uh, I'll open that up and so I can put all my stuff on there as I start pulling things out of the backpack 
So, give me a minute. Alright, so I threw my uh, towel down there in the floor so I can start moving things as I pull them out. Uh, what I have here is uh, my friend's flashlight. We went fishing last night and uh, he left the flashlight behind. So, I thought, okay, well, this is a good way to show how much space we have here. It's a pretty big flashlight compared to my hand. So, you can see it fits there nicely. Okay, let me put that down. Alright. And uh, I got my gloves, which uh, these are all worn out and and uh, they got holes in them and stuff so I'm really not using them anymore I'm about to get rid of them pretty soon but I might end up keeping them around just so I can do shit around the house alright so we'll throw that down there and then I have here my uh, little towel I use for uh, carrying things or you know to wipe down my seat or something like that here I have my uh, cell phone case that's the cell phone case that I actually use when I make videos on my bike so as you can tell I have my velcro there and that goes onto my windshield the way I have it set up. If you've been watching my videos, you've probably already seen this before. Uh, and my auxiliary cable, like I told you, I got speakers. Yes, I do. Connects from my phone to my auxiliary on the bike, and I can jam to the music on my bike. So now that I got that out of the way, and uh, here, let me show you this nice little uh, towel I got here. Yeah, nice little towel. Actually, got this in a uh, Homestead Speedway, they uh, invited us out there one time, uh, Marlboro did, so if you guys are smokers, go to Marlboro.com and become a member, because they give you free gifts all the time, I don't know if you guys know about that, just a little free extra stuff that you guys uh, might not know about, I've gotten free lighters, I've gotten free ashtrays, I've gotten uh, a bunch of nice cool stuff, actually the red book bag that you guys have seen me wear when I ride my bike, actually came from Marlboro.com, so props to them. Alright, so we'll put that there, and uh, this black stuff that you see here is actually my rain gear. So I have here, this is my actual jacket, and I just roll it up, shove it in there. Okay, so we'll throw that down there, and uh, this is my pants. And uh, these are Bass Pro pants and jacket, and yes, I love them. I've used them in the rain, I've been caught in the rain with them already a bunch of times, they keep me dry and uh terrific stuff so bass pro props to you guys all right so uh this pretty much with my hand in there you can see how deep it is uh put my finger in there and it goes up to about my right above my thumb there so you can see how much space there is in there there's plenty of space for you to keep your rain gear license phone cigarettes keys you know extra little things and all these little pockets too which they will bulk up the more shit you put in there of course so uh, be wary of that but at least for this area which is what's really important at least you can put your rain gear you can put your gloves you can put your uh your phone your cigarettes your lighter you know all that good stuff and be able to move around now this is not for touring of course uh this is more you know just for everyday use uh, so don't expect this to have a whole lot of space, but I think it has more than enough. Uh, I've heard of people using these things on on the highway on much more powerful bikes than my 250. They've done about 200 miles per hour. The magnetics, the magnets, sorry, they stay locked onto the tank. They don't go anywhere. So um, hearing really good things about it. I've only had it for about three, four days, and uh, bike's covered. It's raining outside, so unfortunately my day off today can't go riding. Uh, so here I am making a video for you guys here on YouTube. So uh, any other questions you have about my uh, Moto-centric bag, feel free to give me a hot shot. I'll let you know anything you need to know as long as I know the answer as well. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Here's a little uh, peek of all the stuff that was in there. Uh, not counting all the pockets that I already have stuff in. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, there you go, guys. My uh, Moto-centric 14-liter tank bag. Hope you guys enjoyed.